Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the servers going down. Um, hello EA. Okay, we are connecting. Anyways, boys, today we have a new summer showdown on FIFA Ultimate Team. Can you guys believe that today is a not is not a pack opening video? I know it's so surprising. I feel like I'm turning into a pack opening YouTuber. I'm sorry about that. I don't know if I'm sorry about that. I don't really know. What do you guys think about that? I don't know. Well, anyways. Boys, today we have uh, a new summer showdown. And we also have a repeatable any team of the season SBC. So we'll talk about all that stuff in a second. Guys, as always, if you enjoyed the video today, drop a thumbs up, man. It supports the videos a lot. Um, and so today what we shall do is take a look at the content. Um, so we have two summer showdown players available. We have West Ham versus Villa. Uh, now, I have done a pretty good job predicting most of these players are telling you guys what is the one to go with. We have Juventus and Lazio today at 345. We are hoping that Juve can win that game so that we can have our second upgrade, at least of my club, which is Danilo. My first upgrade was, uh, was Vini Jr. That's really the first one that I did and felt like the team was going to win. So I really hope that we can get an upgrade uh, later, later today with Danilo. But anyways, boys, we have Masuaku and Hassan. Um, now, this is the Premier League showdown. They're doing a Prem showdown, and this game is going to be played on... I'm going to get the time for you guys right now. Uh, this game, guys, is going to be West Ham Villa. I don't know where this is. Wow, is this game any soon? Aston Villa? Interesting. When is the game? So, this game is going to be played on July 26th, which is in six days from now. So, next weekend is when this game is going to be played. Um, Masuaku looks like a phenomenal left back. As is, right? 94 acceleration, 96 sprint speed, 90 agility, 92 balance, 86 reactions, 92 ball control, and 97 dribbling. He's also got really good passing. Um, this looks like a really solid left back. Obviously, the only issue with this card is that not so much issue, but links are, are definitely harder. Uh, you've got to, I mean, not hard, but you got to put this guy in a full prem team. It's going to be very high, hard to hybrid. West Ham don't really have a ton of players that you can hybrid out of this i'm assuming that felipe anderson would probably go up because that would be the main link that people would do in a 4-3-3 um and then we've also got hassan who wow five star five star okay holy crap i didn't even see that now that makes this card absolutely insane i did not even realize this wow so 92 trezeguet wow this card i'm, I'm wow whoa 96 pace 93 shooting 89 passing 95 dribbling and 80 physical also the high medium work rates and 5-5, five, five. we might have to do this card today, boys. 93 acceleration with 97 sprint speed. Uh, attack positioning is a little bit lower than what you would want. Finishing is 94, shot power is 95, long shot is 95. So it's good to have the good shot powers. Passing is also pretty good. Looks like a pretty decent looking cam. Um, balance and agility, 93, 84. Reactions are low. So really with this card, right away, you want to boost the reactions, the balance, and the pos attack positioning. So I think a sniper or a marksman would probably be pretty good to use on this card. His stamina is also pretty good. And uh, wow, I was a foot shot trade as well. This card looks fantastic. So for Masawaku, uh, EA, are, what are they saying that you have to submit? An 83 squad. That's pretty fair. And then for uh, Hassan, you probably have to submit an 85? 86. Now, this card, just to be real with you guys, if this card gets a plus three or even a plus one, um, this is going to be a, this is the best card out of the two by far. This card looks crazy. Um, if he gets a plus three, this card will be unstoppable, man. And it's going to be one of those things where, so let, hold on, let, let, let's, let's take a look, um, at the head to head. So West Ham, honestly, West Ham have been playing well recently. Uh, that I can't even lie about. These guys have been playing pretty decent. Um, Villa have not beat West Ham since 2015. Uh, it looks like, so that's, that's not promising because obviously when you look at this SBC, you want this card to win, right? This is the card that we want to get a plus three out of. When we take a look at the Prem table, West Ham is already pretty much cleared of relegation. Villa are fighting relegation, so that's a big deal. Now, the only problem, that, that helps you if you want Villa to win this game. The only issue I see here is the fact that West Ham are actually playing very well. Uh, Antonio last game had, I think, like three or four goals. Um, I think three or two or three goals. He's, he's been going off, whether it was the Norwich, Norwich game or I don't know which game it was, but they're putting goals together. Um, and that's a little bit of a, a concern here. So from a, from a neutral perspective of this SBC, I, I, I do see probably a tie or West Ham taking this one. Um, it depends also who is home and away. Um, I believe West Ham are also home. 
I would assume Villa are not that good away. But Villa kind of need to win this game, right? This is a big game for Villa. So maybe because they're trying to get out of relegation, they're going to win. This is a really tough one. I believe, guys, I am going to complete Trezeguet. I, I believe. I may actually, I think I'm going to complete both because this guy is an 83 rated, right? So with any kind of tradable or untradable team of season that I get this week, I'm literally going to toss him in it and then a bunch of 81s in, and then that'll be this. So if you guys are grinding the menus this week, this card is a cop for sure to go get this card because it's super easy to get. If you get one team of the season, the chemistry is annoying, yes. This one you should also try to craft. I think this is one of those weeks where we try to get both of them, uh, and then whatever happens, happens. Obviously, we want Hassan to win a little bit. But yeah, this guy's only 120K, man. And for a player that, to be honest, with plus threes could go to 99 pace, 97, 96 shooting, passing in the 90s, dribbling almost 99. I mean, this card would be crazy with a Villa win. So that's something that I would say we have to look at as, yeah, it's a significant upgrade if it happens. And then other than that, today we also got the, I think it's a repeatable team of the season, uh, a repeatable team of the season pack. So what I'm going to do real quick is take a look at, wow, see, it's 30K though, man. It's 30K. Boys, now that it, ah, it's a 30K. See, I'm not, I don't love that, man. 30K is annoying. 35K, apparently it's 35K. The word, apparently it's 37k okay we're gonna do this boys we're gonna do this for you guys today i'm gonna do three of these packs and then the good news is a lot of the stuff that we get that we may not need we could just go ahead and obviously guys we could put it into the uh we could go ahead and put it into like the Ma masawaku or whoever else we we see fit as the player that would be good holy moly no guys this is more than f this is crazy man it's so expensive 40k and i'm trying to find a solution on footpin that's actually decent because a lot of these guys on footpin guys they will be using um players that are like extinct or you know like seven or eight k like I'm, I'm already looking at this faguli guy and i'm thinking that he's already going to be like 7k that's what i'm worried about he's not 7k he's 2.5 okay so what we're going to do boys is we're going to make two to three packs today i do not believe that we're streaming today so I figure let's do some content for YouTube. Let's get a little bit of a video up. And we'll do a couple of these packs. We'll see how they go. And then we'll also start to work towards crafting. We'll do four packs for you guys. We'll also start to work towards crafting um, the Masawaku and the Hassan SBCs. That's what we'll try to do. It's not going to be easy, but we'll try to do it. I, I like the selection today. I don't love that it wasn't a bigger game. Um, but I think EA are implementing a cool idea with trying to get people... Um, excited for a game that maybe isn't so exciting, um, right? I think a lot of people are going to be watching this Villa game now uh, in, in hopes that, obviously, uh, you know, we get a uh, we get an upgrade. I think a lot of people are going to be looking at that game. I'm now definitely going to go ahead and do both. Now, a lot of people are asking, Nick, why aren't, why aren't you streaming? Why aren't you excited for the repeatable team of the season at SBC? Guys, just to be real with you, man, I, 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 I have spent a lot of time during this team of the season already doing packs, right? I've packed a lot of the really good players. We have a Neymar, we have Ronaldo. So in terms of my endgame team, which I, 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 I'm really close to being done with, man, honestly. I, I have to buy Team of the Year Conte, and that's about it. Um, so I'm kind of, I've kind of reached the point now where like my motivation to grind those upgrade packs are low. Now, if there's a different pack, right, a 5 times 88 plus pack... Um, a prime icon moments pack, a like rating on the team of the season SBC where EA kind of boosts the rating. I'm all for it. I I'll, I'll be on stream. I'll be ripping those packs, man, because for me, um, that's that's a little bit more unique, right? I have the opportunity to get some pretty good stuff if they drop something of that, right? And we also have the coins um, to go ahead and we can afford to take the hit and, and, and do stuff like that. But until that point... It's kind of like this dilemma of, do I really want to, you know, look, we don't have too much time left with this game. I think we all know that, but I am waiting and I'm waiting until we get that week where I'm just going to go ham uh, on the packs for you guys, man. It, we, there will be a week, man. I'm telling you, there will be one week where they, they bring out some crazy stuff. I think the interesting discussion right now, you know, with amidst all this content is what, what do we get after this Friday? Because Team of the Seasons are only available in packs until this Friday. And it's kind of like, what are EA going to do after this Friday? And that, I, I don't even have the answer for you guys because I really don't know. Um, that is what's going to be interesting to see. Do EA come out and bring some sort of, you know, surprise promo? Or 
you know, what do they bring? We don't, we don't, I don't think any of us really know. And I think that's, that's what's interesting because I think EA know that they're keeping this thing rolling right now. I think they know that, look, there, there are people playing this game. Um, there's, I'm, I'm still playing whether it's, you know, whether it's grinding, uh, grinding share plays in the week with the viewers or, uh, you know, doing weekend league. Like I played to 23 wins last weekend and, and partially that's due to them releasing Pogba and me picking up a couple of players that I really wanted to use. But, you know, I can make all the excuses in the world, but at the bottom line, I'm still playing the game, right? And I'm still here and I'm still doing it. So I think that's a way to look at it, right? I think EA know that there are a lot of people still on this game and still grinding the game. And I think that they would only be dumb to not continue bringing out cards, bringing out content as I look at Joel Mata being uh, 6K. Are you guys kidding me? Is this dude really 7K? Oh my Lord. Footprint Solutions, not so OP. 7K for Joel Matip. Jeez, bro. That is literally so bad. And I'm paying it, boys. That's the worst part. I'm sitting here, and I'm paying it. I think this is not even on the market, dude. I got to get one more, man. Can you let me get one more, yay? Yes, one more. Okay. Four more players left, boys, until we start crafting uh, the packs. Are you guys doing these, man? Let me know. You know, are you guys doing these? I know a lot of you guys have been blowing up the comments recently, and I appreciate that because for some reason, with the YouTube videos, man, like if you comment, YouTube just pushes it out way more, and I and I don't have a reason why that happens, but for some reason on on this dang site, the comments and likes just push out videos like crazy. So to you guys, man, that have been supporting and, and been commenting on all the videos, I appreciate you guys. Let me know if you guys also want a Trezor Gay review, man. I can toss up a Trezor Trezor Gay review on the second channel as a like as a pre upgrade review. Um, if you guys want that, you guys can let me know. I'll try to bring you guys that. Um, I know that a lot of you guys have been enjoying the reviews recently. As we wind down FIFA 20, I'm very I'm very excited for the news, man. We should be getting FIFA 21 news in about 10 to 15 days, right? They always say in the beginning of August that there is always going to be a little bit of a show or something like that where. We get to learn a little bit about the next year's game. I, I personally just want to hear that EA have actually worked on changing some stuff, but also added in new game modes. That's what I'm really excited to hear. Why is this guy... Okay, we need to find another different... We need to find another Prem right back. This is what I don't like about these SBCs, man, because people go crazy uh, to price fix these SBCs. I mean, the extent that people go to make sure that you can't find cards is pretty absurd. I'm probably really overspending for these packs. But hey, man, content is content, right? Content is content, boys. That's what we that's what we got going on. Um, wow, I, I feel like I'm going to become a big Villa fan now. I feel like I really want Aston Villa to win. Um, because that Trezeg A card would be right... You know, the, the issue is that I'm using Neymar. That's kind of the issue at left wing. But that Trezeg A card would be um, pretty, pretty tasty, man, at the right back spot. I can't even lie. All right, so we got to look up Prem right backs, guys, because I'm not paying 7K for Coleman. I'm just not doing it. So, Premier League right backs. Let's see what we got here. So, in terms of lower rated right backs, I think we're going to need at least a uh, a 79. I hope that Aurier is not more than like 4 or 5K. Yeah, Aurier looks like the option here. Hopefully, we get the chemistry as well, man. But Aurier should not be all that expensive. He should be way less. I know that we didn't even need a strong link here, did we? No, we didn't even need a strong link. So, Aurier should work. We just got to get four, four of big man search. All right, let's go. Can we get these or are they like just not going to pop? Oh, wow. People are going to be buying these. All right, so these are available for like three hours. Did somebody buy all these? Okay, two, three. No way, bro. Three. Dude, this is painful, man. It's it's so hard to do SBCs when they first come out, man. Everybody's buying these cards always, dude. It is so freaking hard, man. I swear. It's, it's, it's so hard, bro. Everybody's always buying these cards. You guys can see that somebody's literally bid on all the Oreos on the game. Um, which is r ridiculous. I literally need to buy one more Aurier, and I and I literally am not gonna wait any longer, so I'm lazy buying. All right, boys. Now it is time. After five minutes of buying players, we are now ready. Are you guys kidding me? Did my FIFA just freeze, bro? EA Sports, man, you guys gotta figure out these menus, bro. They are the worst they've ever been. So we've got a frozen FIFA, and we're now gonna restart the app in front of literally all my YouTube viewers. This is ridiculous. This is crazy. Okay, SBCs today. I think that was about it. I think we got this. Did we get another challenge today? So we got an 8K, 8K value here for a Primex players pack and a two rare gold players pack. So Masawaku's coming in at 60K. 
if we were to take a look at other Prem left backs, um, let's go left back and let's go Premier League. If we're going to take a look at other Prem left backs. We have Robertson at 96K. Wow, he is going down because of Masuaku. Um, that is some. That must be crazy down for the day. 93K? Yeah, he's 131 yesterday, 130 this morning, and now he is 93K. Golly, bro, that is such a drop in price, man. That is crazy. But every time EA released these damn SPCs, um, it is like nuts, bro. It is literally nuts. It is literally nuts what happens, bro. Every time they release these SPCs, people just go all out, man, with panic selling and tossing it, bro. I can't believe it. All right, so we're loading back into FIFA, boys. That is what we've got going on after the menus completely flopped on us. Come on, EA, hurry up. I want to open these packs for you guys, man. I want to see if we can get anybody. I'm also investing like 140K into these packs. So, all right, EA, I better see something good. I don't want to see a load of crap. And I hope that Aurier actually got bought because I'm kind of I'm kind of worried that it didn't. Now, I also need to make sure that I'm doing the repeatable one, uh, which would be this one. So we're going to add it to our favorites tab. Team of the season so far, guaranteed, boys. That is kind of what we we're looking at today. We're going to go to newest. And we're going to toss in all the players that we have here. Uh, I think there's a couple that like didn't make it into the solution or sorry into the club because we already had them uh, So I think we will go in ahead and find them. We're obviously missing three. So we go Aaron Glees up there We've got company over here uh, We've got I don't even know how to pronounce this guy's name, but yes, this is one of the players that was uh, You know not present in the club. We've also got to find Serge Aurier I wonder why Aurier is not popping up right now that is making me Super duper annoyed, man. Aurier should be so popping up in this SBC. And so it is now going to be a mystery in terms of why he is not. Because I don't even know. Why is he not in the SBC? He should be in the SBC. And we've also got Evans here. But why is Aurier not in the SBC? Boys, it's all going wrong. In my comment section, I already can envision it. It's saying Nick is so bad at SBCs, it makes me happy. Because for some reason, people enjoy that. I don't know why. But okay, Aurier. Please tell me about Aurier. Like, did it glitch out? Okay, no, it didn't. All right, now we should be golden. We should theoretically be golden, boys. This should be plenty of, uh, we've got our arts and crafts out and we've got to now just add in Serge Aurier and then I think we are good to go to make, oh my freaking God, bros. Okay, now we're going to be good to go. So we're going to make Aurier here. Uh, that's what we got. I'm going to put him into the thing. Okay, good to go. I didn't submit a team of the year, boys. W, can I get a W? Okay. Three more to craft, and then we are ready to go, boys. That is the current situation. I am going to get Red Neymar this week from Weekly Rewards, boys. I don't know if you guys heard, but I already talked to EA about it, man, and they said that I was going to be getting... I was going to be getting him from this week's rewards. So, you guys are uh, you guys are welcome. You guys are welcome. All right. Now, also, I'm a little concerned because there was one player that did not get sent to my club, and I don't know who it was. Who did not get... Why is there one player that's not appearing in my club? It said it only sent 10. I don't know why. I wonder I wonder what's going on here. So who are we still missing? I think we're still missing one player, no? We are. No, we're not. Okay, we're good to go then. So can, Oh, it's because I have some of the Champions League items in here. Couldn't figure it out for a sec, boys. Okay. Him there. Uh, him there. Him up there. And then there. And that's 70 cam. And now we only have... Two more, boys. Two more to do. And then we're going to see if these packs are really any good. We also got a sale while we were recording, which is a Salad 495. I was trading with him last night, and I can envision that some people are definitely uh, probably making some Egyptian teams because of the Trezeguet card. Um, that's my that's my slight guess there. Um, but I feel like it's a good one, and I feel like it's definitely something that people could be doing right now, man. I could see people making a little bit of a cheeky little hybrid um, with the additional... New uh, Trezeguet SBC. Okay, Chilwo there, Matip there, Company there, Aranguiz there, Belhanda, Matip. Okay, we already have him in there. And then Falcao and Faguli. And that is going to be three out of four. And we are almost on our way, boys, to being able to open up four of these, man. Let me know, though, guys. If you guys do any of these, man. If you guys at any point ever pack somebody crazy, man. You guys know my Twitter, man. Run the foot market. Toss me a tweet. Be like, yo, Nick, bro, I did like four of these tonight. You know, I got this guy. And I'll be like, bang, you're a beast. <laughs> that was so uh, so awkward. Okay. 
These two are going up there. They will hang out in my transfers for a little. And now we are off the unassigned, which means if we want to open the three, we can. But no, first, we must complete pack number four. That is what we're going for. 8270 chemistry. The one thing I will say about Summer Heat, man, that I'm not appreciating from EA is the high chemistry, man. EA, nobody likes high chemistry. You guys got to stop with the high chem, man. Nobody likes high chemistry. I don't like high chemistry. My friends don't like high chemistry. My viewers don't like high chemistry. Nobody likes high chemistry, man. Get rid of it, EA. I, I hate it. And you know what you guys do? You guys, you guys put these cheeky little small squad ratings, you know, but you make them high chem and it turns out to be way more than anyone thinks it is. So it's a little fraudulent if you ask me. Okay, boys. It is time now for four team of the season player packs. Now, we need to get some high rated players so that we can easily craft and put these in um, to our other SPCs. I also really want to get duplicates because I've already used, I think, a couple quick sell duplicates for the month. And I have a lot of team of the Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I thought that was going to be Cristiano Ronaldo. Now, one, that would have been a problem because I already have Ronaldo. But two, that's not a bad pull, man. Ruben Diaz is somebody that is a 91 rated. So I'll take it, man. It's not too bad. Now, the interesting thing is, right, I've paid 40K for each of these SBCs. So if we were to take a look at fodder rating, right, how much is a 91 on this game currently? Okay, the cheapest 91 on FIFA right now is 33K. So this pack would still be a loss. Although I think chemistry-wise, he's a little bit more than 33K because of the links that he offers, I think. It's really tough to actually know. I don't like the pack animation this year, man. I hope they change it next year. I really don't like it. Um, oh, no! I thought I packed Sonaldo. Oh, Bro, that is so bad. No way, bro. The pain, bros. The pain. Pain, man. That is so painful. I thought I got Sinaldo, guys. I thought it was Sunny. It's an 88, which is not the end of the world, but I thought it was Sun. I really did think it was Sun, boys. Okay, third player. That's not even anybody good. Visca 93. I mean, that's... Okay, 93 is not bad. He's probably like 40K. Again, nobody crazy yet. 93 Visca in a pack. I mean, that's not too crazy. Ugh. I thought I got Sun, boys. I was getting so excited. I thought that was Sinaldo. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Now, he sells for how many coins? Let's take a look. He's 50K. All right, he has 50K. So that's a little bit better. Let's try to get a player over 100K, man. Come on, EA. What do we got? Let's try to get a player over 100,000 coins. Give me something good. Spanish? Luis Alberto? Right wing. Who is that? Adama, man. I already have Adama. I mean, Adama, I think I just asked for a over player over 100K. He's probably over 100 unless he's like 40 from the crash. 45K. What? He's 45K, bro. Wow. Um, eh, not the best, boys. I don't know if I would recommend these. No, it's a dupe as well. Yeah, I'm not so sure. I don't know, boys. Like, I don't know if these are great. Those were those were not great. Like, four four of those to get those players is that's not a great return. In my eyes, at least. Let me know if you guys want me to do more of these, man. Let me know if you guys want to do some of these on stream. And I guess let me know if you guys are getting anything good out of these. It's a tough one, bro. I think I think for 40k, it's not bad to do some. I think with all the SPCs out, it's nice because you can like just you know rinse and repeat and put them into these other SPCs. But I'm actually not sure if it's the best value ever. The only issue I would say is that for crafting purposes, what you got not the issue, but the strategy that you should guys. Well, ah, actually, we already have Verity out too. Oh wow, I didn't even realize that. We still have these cards out as well. So that's 8260 chem with 8650 chem and then we've also got Bilotti and Bilotti's 8350 chem with 8550 chem so to be honest actually you guys could go ahead and craft Bilotti with these team of the season packs Rebic is also out for how much longer two days so there's a lot of stuff to craft 8384 now here's the problem the chemistry is really high on these things you guys could still do a prime icon if you want um a prime icon is an 88 
So this is something that you could really... I, I probably would do the Prime Icon out of all... I, you know, once you get the Summer Heat players done, I'd probably do the Prime Icon. Um, 81 Double Plus is, is what? So you're probably going to want to try to do the 81 Double Plus. Um, because 50 Chem. The goal is what I'm trying to say is we got to try to find a way to get 81 to like 83s, 82 80s that have High Chem um, in these solutions. Because of these High Chem solutions, they're crazy expensive on the market. The move may be, guys, the move may be to just rinse your clubs if you have rare players um, and put them all into the 82 to 88. That might be the main move to do. Put all your rare players and your, and your, your just gold players, not rares, but gold players into this 82 to 88. Get these and then start working towards doing the other things. You could also be ripping the gold upgrade, but yeah. And now, weirdly, after five or four packs, I feel like I'm really hooked on doing those packs. And I almost want to do more. And I don't I don't know if that's too healthy. I don't think that's a good thing. Um, to be honest with you guys. I don't think that's a good thing. But uh hey, I guess I guess it is what it is. Now, another thing before we end the video today, I know it's a super long video. We did end up, guys. Um, I bought a ton of stuff to do some overnight flipping, but a lot of it is not looking too good. That was not an overnight flip. A couple of these are from the other day. Um yeah, tried to do a lot of flipping with overnight stuff. A lot of it kind of worked, but I only was able to sell like maybe 15 of the cards. So now that they've dropped a lot of this kind of content today, it's worrying in terms of the market, in terms of where it's going to go. So I'm not really sure what's going to happen. All I know is that if you guys have missed the videos recently, I put up a review on Cruyff. He is very good and I got Maradona. So I'm very happy with uh, the players that I have in my club at this point in time. I'm very, I'm very content, boys. I'm very content with my players and... and the guys that I have um, as for now, but again, there are there are there are a couple cards that we have picked up that, to be honest, are, are dropping and, and sorts like that since we bought them for the overnight flipping. So we've gotta we've gotta try to get out of those before it gets too ugly. I think my my biggest flaw with this time of the year is that I always get in like denial with cards I buy, um, where I just don't even sell them for the longest time, and then they just turn into the fattest losses you've ever seen. So we've gotta really be a little bit better when it comes to that. But other than that, boys, that is going to be the upload for today. I appreciate you guys watching it. Um, and much love for the continued support on all the videos, man. On all the platforms and all the videos. Thank you guys so much. And I'll see you guys in a video soon. Peace out.